Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy. In the last video we have seen how to create an application on AWS and this is what we have done, right? This is our Java Spring application deployed on AWS. Uh, this is not created by us, but this is given by the AWS to you, a sample application. So what we wanted is we wanted to make some changes, right? We want to change this congratulations, we want to change these things. How do we, how do we make the changes? Now, of course, as you know, whenever you want to make any change in the code, first of all, you need to get the access to the code so that you can make the changes. Now, this is what this is how your AWS uh, console look like, right? This is your code star, and you can see we have so many options. But one of the options here is available, which is code, right? So when you click on code, this is the tab it will give you. In this tab, you can see we have the uh, with this is this is where you have your project, right? So this is the project which is which you are actually getting here. So if you go to this SRC, this is so if you are if you are familiar about about, about Spring Framework, uh, what we do is we create controllers. So inside Java we have com, inside that we have AWS, then we have CodeStar, then this. Uh, we have a controller, and in this controller, what we are doing is whenever you send a request to the home page, you have to call index.jsp. Again, this configuration is done with the help of Spring MVC annotations. But how do you make the changes? Because if you want to make a change, you have to make sure that in the project you go to SRC main. A web app and in the web INF of course there will be views and inside views there will be index.jsp and this is where you have to make the changes you have to change this code right instead of having congratulations we wanted a telisco instead of having developed designed by and developed by uh, in, in Seattle I want to say by Navin Reddy how do I do that so uh, we have to use an IDE right and one of our favorite, favorite IDE is Eclipse so I have Eclipse here. How do you connect? First of all, we'll make the changes and we have to also pull the project here. How do we pull a project? So we need to pull this project in Eclipse. So we can do that simply. We can say clone URL and you can do that manually. Otherwise, you can use, uh, so let's let's see, do we have any shortcuts? The moment I say file and import, where is that import? Yeah, it's here. So when I say import, there should be an option of AWS and unfortunately we don't have that. Can you say that we don't have an option of AWS? Now to make it work, you need to install a plugin for AWS. So just go to help and there's an option of uh, Eclipse Marketplace. And this is where you have to search for, so we have to search for AWS and the moment you do that, it will give you an option. So you can see that we got AWS Toolkit for Eclipse 2.0. So let's do that. So you have to click on install here and it will give you so many uh, options to select. Of, of course, you can install everything or you can choose between options. So example, let's say I don't want ops work. I don't want Lambda. I don't want, uh, I, okay, let's go with all the other things. Now let's click on confirm and we have to accept the uh, ag agreement. We don't have a choice. Click on finish. The moment to do that, it will take some time to install. Right till that point, uh, let me just pause the video. Okay, so finally it has done all the installation or it, has, it is installed in my Eclipse now. But to make it work, we have to restart the Eclipse. So let's restart the Eclipse and click on yes. So it is restarting the Eclipse now and it will take some time of course. Okay, now we got our Eclipse back and Okay, this is asking for Hibernate. Let's ignore Hibernate for time being. And yes, so this is this is where you got Eclipse. And now, if you can uh, if you can see that there, there is a there is a small change in the Eclipse IDE. You can see that we got this new symbol here, a new icon. And if you can simply drag, I mean, drop it down. There's an option of import AWS CodeStar project, and that's the beauty, right? Uh, you can simply import it from here. Just click on that, and now it will ask you for the account name so of course uh, i guess if you are using this for the first time it will ask you for the account name where you have to give your aws username and password right the account which we have created before so you have to make sure that you give your account password i have done that before uh, so it will give you a prompt something like this so there will be an option of uh, changing your username password uh, something here or maybe they will give you access key and i guess you can get this access key from the okay so there should be an option of getting an access key here so you will get the option i guess so you will get the option when you when you build it so try that so it, once you get the access key once you get the uh, login the next thing you have to do is you have to select your account and then you have to select the region this is very important in fact it, it, uh, when i was doing this for the first time it took me uh, more than half an hour to figure it out why it's not working because you can see i'm not getting my projects here 
uh, the thing is you have to also remember the uh, the what you say the origin here right so the origin for me or the location for me is region for me is us east right so you have to make sure that you select the proper one and once you do that it will give you the list of projects in your in your application so you can see we have the disco demo here and let's say select the demo and you have to also give your git credentials now for my machine i do, ha I, do I already have a git repository credentials but you you will not have it at the first instance so you have to click on create git credentials okay you may already have created the maximum number of set of git credentials okay <laughs> so i've already crossed that limit so what you have to do is i already have a copy so when you do it for the first time you can simply click on create grid credentials what i will do is i will i have a, a csv file of it i have a copy of it i will do that here okay so you can see i already have a grid credential csv file created i will select that part and i will click on next it will verify the information it will verify the username and password and all these things and once it is done it will say next and it will ask you for the project where you want to save i will, I will say uh, store in the git repository and click on finish the moment you do that it will pull the project from the uh, code star it is that easy it will put it is putting the project now and you got where is that okay it's, it's still happening uh, okay so it says downloading downloading it will take some time yeah so you got your project here can you see that we got our telesco demo project now is it the real project and the answer is yes it's a real project now first of all do we have a server here i don't have a server so of course i cannot run it locally so what i will do is again you can test it so uh, add a server to your tomcat uh, to your eclipse a tomcat server and you can also run this on tomcat server it will work but what i will do now is i will make some changes and i will directly deploy it on the, on the server so to do that we have to go for main web app and you can explore the entire package so once you do that by yourself please explore all these uh, packages and files available in this you will get much more idea so when i expand this web inf views and index.jsp this is the actual source code which is working there now this is more more of a spring so we can see we have also have spring tags here uh, and uh, okay so the important thing is i want to make some changes so i want to say this is the disco right and then i have to make one more changes i will say design developed and design uh, by i will say my name uh i mean ready simple right and okay this they're also giving you a href i don't want to do that okay let's remove that so i want to say design and develop by navinity that's it this is what i want the changes on the server and it's that simple right you can so once you've done the changes right click here say team and click on uh, commit and i will say okay so when you say commit you have to uh, of course you have to enter some data right you have to commit you have to give a commit message so i will select this all files and put it here in fact you don't have to update everything just update one file and i will say commit uh, commit message would be uh, index page updated it should be a proper message i'm giving it in another message here and i will say commit and push it will take some time to push and maybe 10 seconds and it is done so once you push it click on ok now the moment you do that just go to your page and see if it is reflected click here and you can see oh uh oh we still got congratulations we got uh, developed and designed with love in seattle that's weird where is the where is the changes now it, it is not uh, that fast right of course it will take some time for the deployment some time for the i mean building and de deployment now if you can observe in the steps here the moment you say commit after that it will say okay the, it is committed it will build and it will uh, the application is running but it's not reflecting here why uh, so it takes some time to actually do these things the, automatically it will they, they, it will give you an option of uh, building stuff so you can see the last build was yesterday uh, 29 today is 30 yeah so it was the last build yours was yesterday so it will take some time to start with the building so should i wait or should i click on release changes okay so let's wait for some time and let's keep it uh, let's see if it is getting automatically started okay so i waited for one minute and it, it, it started automatically i have not done any changes and you can see it says in progress so it will take some time for so you can see the source is updated and you can also see your commit message here it says index page updated one minute ago so i have not many change i have not done it after that so it, it took one minute to actually start the processing 
so it is doing the application code. So when you when it is doing this thing, uh, can you let's see if it is uh, uh, my website is up or down. So you can see the website is still not down. It's it's still working, right? Because normally what happens is when you deploy the application on the server, it 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 your application is not available for some time maybe one or two minutes so let's see so in the in the source code you can see there is no problem on the on the server now it will take some time for the source code let's wait for so i will pause the video for some time so that it will go to build okay so now it is going in a build phase uh, so in the build phase it will compile all your files now let's verify is the server or is the website still up yes it is still up because it is in building stage now that's great so let's wait for some time. You can see it took around uh, seven seconds to go switch from here to here. I don't know. So let's pause for some time and let's see. Okay, so it says uh, building is done and I guess application, it will start with the deployment now. And the moment you say building is done, the website is still up and it's not made the changes. It will take some time for the application to be deployed and let's see when, when it start deployment. Okay, now you can see it is started with the uh, deployment and while it is getting deployed and okay, so can you see that the website is deployed and you, you, you can see the changes. So you can see hardly it was uh, off for one or well, maybe 10 or 20 seconds. Uh, we have not even realized that it was off, right? You can see uh, maybe it was down for some time. So you can see we got the changes, we got Telesco and we got Navin Reddy here. That's awesome, right? So it's so simple to work on AWS server, especially with the help of CodeStar, you can simply make the changes and push it. Everything will be handled by AWS. So what we did, we just made the changes. So whatever changes you want to make, maybe you want to get some more pages, uh, we'll do that, we'll make some more changes, we'll write some code here to show the contact page, to show all those weird stuff, and we'll push that on the server and it will be getting updated automatically. You don't have to do the uh, creating a wire file and deploying it on the server, it is a tedious task, right? So that's the beauty about AWS. I hope you enjoyed this video. So try it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section if, any, if you're facing any issues so that I can rectify that in the next video. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it. Click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos and do follow Telesco Learnings on Facebook.